Greetings, dear viewers. Are you or someone you care about grappling with the painful grip of gout? Well, hold on tight, because today's video is your key to unlocking natural and effective ways to treat this discomforting condition. But before we embark on this journey, here's a startling revelation. Did you know that gout has a strong penchant for those over 50? It's true. And in this video, we're delving deep into gout and its treatment, especially for our experienced audience. Welcome back to our channel, your trusted companion on the path to better health, particularly as you gracefully age. Today, we're unraveling the mysteries of gout treatment. If you're over 50, you might have already experienced some of the unique health challenges that can come with age. Gout, characterized by intense joint pain, often targets older individuals. But worry not, because today we're equipping you with the knowledge to tackle it head on. Remember to hit that subscribe button for more great content like this if you haven't already done so. The age factor. First, let's address the age factor. Gout is more likely to knock on the doors of those over 50. Why? It's all about uric acid. See, gout is caused by high levels of uric acid in the blood, and these levels tend to rise as we age. Moreover, older individuals are more prone to conditions that elevate gout risk, like high blood pressure, diabetes, and kidney disease. Medications that can trigger gout are also more common in this age group, such as diuretics and corticosteroids. But remember, not everyone over 50 will develop gout. It's a variable journey. Some folks might have high uric acid levels, but never experience gout symptoms, while others might have occasional flare-ups. If you're over 50 and have concerns about gout, don't hesitate to have a heart-to-heart -heart with your doctor. They'll help assess your risk factors and guide you on reducing them. The link between gout and metatarsalgia. Now here's a twist in the tale. Metatarsalgia can be a part of the gout story. Gout, you see, is a type of arthritis that loves to stir up inflammation and pain in your joints. While it can crash any joint party in your body, it particularly enjoys gate crashing the joints in your feet and hands. Metatarsalgia, on the other hand, is like the ball of the foot's battle cry. It's often caused by various factors, including gout, overuse, or the treacherous choices in footwear we sometimes make. When gout decides to pay a visit to the metatarsophalangeal joints, those joints where the metatarsal bones meet the toes, it can lead to metatarsalgia. Symptoms of gout-related metatarsalgia. So how do you know if it's metatarsalgia from gout that's tapping at your door? Look out for these signs. Pain in the ball of the foot, especially when you're on your feet or walking. Swelling and redness in the same area. Tenderness when you touch that spot. Difficulty in bending your toes. If gout has introduced you to metatarsalgia, here's what you can do. Seek professional help. First and foremost, visit a doctor. They'll often prescribe medications to reduce inflammation and pain, along with advice on rest and supportive footwear. Be weight wise. If you're carrying some extra baggage, Losing weight can significantly reduce the frequency and intensity of gout attacks. Treat your feet. Opt for supportive shoes that fit well and avoid those tempting high heels or cramped toe boxes. Take breaks. If your day involves prolonged standing or walking, remember to take short breaks. Reducing your gout risk. Now let's talk about minimizing your risk of gout and keeping metatarsalgia at bay. Let's dive into the treasure trove of natural remedies, because there's more to gout management than medications alone. These strategies can complement your medical care, but remember they're not a substitute for it. If you're dealing with gout, make sure to consult a healthcare professional for a proper diagnosis and treatment plan. Once you've got that covered, you can integrate these natural approaches to further manage symptoms and prevent gout attacks. Number 1. Drink plenty of fluids. First on the list, and it's an easy one, stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of fluids is like giving your body a cleansing shower. It helps flush out uric acid, the culprit behind gout, from your system. So aim to sip at least eight glasses of water a day. Your body will thank you. Number two, eating a healthy diet. 
Next up, it's all about your diet. Eating smart can make a world of difference. Opt for a healthy diet that's low in purines. Now, what are purines, you ask? They're chemicals found in certain foods like red meat, organ meats, shellfish, and some seafood. When your body breaks down these purines, they turn into uric acid. So reducing your intake of these high purine foods can help keep uric acid levels in check. Number three, applying ice or heat. When gout flares up, it can feel like a fire in your joints. That's where ice and heat come in. You can apply ice packs to the affected joint for about 15 to 20 minutes at a time, several times a day. This can help cool down the inflammation and ease the pain. But if your joint isn't swollen or inflamed, you can try heat pads for the same duration. They work like a soothing balm. Number four, elevating the affected joint. Now, here's a trick that can give you some relief. Elevating the affected joint. Imagine it as giving your joint a cozy throne. Prop it up on a pillow or cushion so that it's above the level of your heart. This simple act can help reduce swelling and make you feel more comfortable. Number five, taking over the counter pain relievers. Sometimes the pain can be a bit too stubborn. In those moments, over the counter pain relievers can come to the rescue. Options like ibuprofen or naproxen can help with both pain and inflammation. Just be sure to follow the directions on the label carefully. And remember, always have a chat with your doctor before adding any over-the-counter medications, especially if you have other medical conditions. Incorporating natural remedies. Now let's explore some natural remedies that have shown promise in the battle against gout. Number one, tart cherries. Ever heard of tart cherries? They're like the natural superheroes of gout treatment. These little red gems contain compounds that can reduce inflammation and pain. You can enjoy them fresh, frozen, dried, or as a refreshing tart cherry juice. Consider adding them to your diet for that extra punch against gout. Number two, turmeric. Then there's turmeric, the golden spice with a hidden power called curcumin. Curcumin has both anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, making it a fantastic addition to your gout-fighting arsenal. You can take turmeric supplements or simply sprinkle it into your food for that tasty twist. Number three, apple cider vinegar. And let's not forget the humble apple cider vinegar. It contains acetic acid, which has the incredible ability to dissolve uric acid crystals. Just mix one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar into a glass of water and sip it once or twice a day. It's like a natural elixir. Number four, Epsom salt baths. Lastly, there's the relaxing option of Epsom salt baths. These baths can help reduce inflammation and ease pain. To create your own spa experience, add one to two cups of Epsom salt to a warm bath and soak for about 15 to 20 minutes. It's a treat for your body and your joints. Now that you've learned about these natural and effective ways to treat gout, let's take action. Action steps. Here are some immediate steps you can take to incorporate these insights into your daily routine. One, hydrate regularly. Make a habit of drinking at least eight glasses of water daily. Staying hydrated helps flush uric acid out of your body a critical step in managing gout. Two, revamp your diet. Transform your eating habits by including more fruits, vegetables and whole grains while reducing high purine foods like red meat. This dietary shift can significantly lower uric acid levels in your blood. Three, mind your footwear. Invest in supportive, well-fitting shoes and give those high heels a break. Proper footwear is your ally in managing gout and preventing metatarsalgia. Four, take regular breaks. If your job or daily routine involves long periods of standing or walking, remember to schedule short breaks to rest your joints. These moments of respite can go a long way in reducing gout-related discomfort. Five, explore natural remedies. Consider integrating natural remedies like tart cherries, turmeric, apple cider vinegar, and Epsom salt baths into your gout management plan. 
To sum it up, gout is more likely to make its presence felt after the age of 50 due to rising uric acid levels, but not everyone in this age group will be affected. Gout can also bring along metatarsalgia, causing pain and discomfort in the ball of your foot. Seek professional help for effective treatment and consider lifestyle changes to reduce your gout risk. If you found this video informative and helpful, please do us a favor. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, and we're eager to hear from you. Share your experiences, remedies and questions about gout treatment in the comments below. Let's create a supportive community on our journey to better health. Until next time, stay well and stay healthy.